Okay, I'm doing another tutorial. I mean, I'm in a tutorial kind of mood. This one's about furries. <laughs> um, the the because okay, you learn the the face guidelines. You're drawing. You're like, oh yeah, I can draw, I can draw a human face. And then you try to make that into a furry face. So you take the human face that you drew and you say, okay, the nose just has to go like, like this. And then, and then it's a dog. And then you end up with this weird human head with like, you could, with like a dog ears on it. And you're like, why does it, why do he look like that? Um, and that's because human heads and animal heads don't have the same bone structure, like anatomy underneath them. So anyways, I figured I would give it an example on how I do those faces. So let's start with a dog, because I bet I'm going to assume that most of y'all have dog characters. So like, I do a circle and then I do the cross. But I do the cross closer to the top of the circle. Like, they don't have as much forehead. Um, so then you can, you can throw your eyes in there on the cross. Um, this, is, this is the part that still looks kind of human, right? You got eyes. For furries, I like to kind of draw this shape for, like, the eyebrow. Because not a lot of animals like sometimes they have actual eyebrows let's draw eyebrows we'll do like a a dog with eyebrows i like to do these little blobby eyebrows like a burmese mountain dog is that the kind of dog that has eyebrows i'm i've just drank so much coffee okay and then the nose is actually gonna come out more at a straight line and then come down you still have the temporal is that a temporal lobe? I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me <laughs> invalidating my own tutorial. Your your temples. Your temples are going to be in there still. It's still the same line into like the jaw. And then the jaw and the bottom of the muzzle are going to connect like this. The cheeks are like in this area. You can have some... If you're drawing like a wolf, you're going to put like the cheek fluffies. You cannot have cheek fluffies. I like to add, that's like my style though, is to add the cheek fluffs. And then what I like to do, this is like really thick lines. I'm going to erase some of these lines so it's easier to see. I like to kind of add into the eye outline, like where the nose is. Some dogs have their nose higher up and some have their but it's usually covering a little bit of this eye this is just a three-quarter degree angle it's I find it really hard to draw dogs from like a front angle but yeah and then you just then you go you want to know where to place the nose well this is like you can you can place the nose here it depends on on what angle they're looking at and place the nose here it, there's a little bit of wiggle room with the nose like you can get away well you not that far but like you can get away with placing the nose pretty far over if the nose is over it's gonna stick out a little bit and dog noses kind of come up and then and then in. I like to do a more like cartoony style. So I'm not gonna focus on like the nostrils or anything, just like the basic outline, but dog noses, the nostrils kind of. I'm gonna keep it simple. And then you can connect to the mouth if you want as like a guide, or you cannot. And dog mouths actually come back a fair ways that's the one thing I find kind of hard is is figuring out how far back the mouth will come and then your ears are gonna sit on the top of your head 
again, a lot of variation in like the ears of a, of a dog canine character. And there's a lot of different furry characters. Like there's a lot of different animals out there. So it's really hard to find a tutorial on, on how to draw them. Cause it's like, which one? There's lots. But yeah, something like that. Do a little bit of fur. I don't know what I'm doing with that. I was trying to do like a neck. The neck fur into the cheek fluffies. I don't know. But that's generally how I like lay out a, a canine face. Is these eyes. Let me just. Okay. Okay. That's that's generally how I lay out like a dog. Let's move on to. And of course, there's a lot of. Oh my god. Where we were supposed to be moving on. There's a lot of. There's a lot of variation. You could. You could make the nose really long and skinny. And you could say, me, me, do it for you, girl, me. Um, you could, you could make the nose shorter. You could, you could make the nose kind of skinnier. And the ears longer. Now, now it's a fox. Um, you really just kind of got to study like the animal that you're that you're trying to draw. It's <laughs> anyways, let's do a cat. Dogs and cats, I'm going to guess, are like the most popular. Same start. I start with just a circle and then in the middle of the circle, I draw the eyes. So let's give them little cat eyes. And then I draw these little lines for the eyebrows. And cats have a shorter muzzle. It depends on how realistic you want to go with it. But, um... Ooh, I don't know about this. Cats have a shorter little muzzle. So you can make it almost, almost human-like. But again, the proportions are different than a than a person. Actually just gonna round that out. Because it's not a person. It's like kind of a person, kind of a cat. What are furries? <laughs> There's some little whiskers in there. Maybe some of these. And then some big old cat ears. I'm probably better at drawing cats than dogs because I have cats and I don't have dogs. And that's really, <laughs> that's really about it. Again, some little hair fluffies. A neck. Sometimes it's hard even to connect the neck because like animal necks are not the same as human necks. So giving them human necks can look weird. It's really like how much animal do you want to make it and how much person do you want to make it? <laughs> Let me give them cat eyes. It's a cat. It can have cat eyes. Um, but yeah, I mostly, I just put it in the, in the eye, like the inclination because cats noses are a little bit higher up. Even like the mouth and stuff, I could move higher up for a cat. Um, yeah, dog, a cat. What else? What else we got? Um, let's do like a. This is this is where I'm like, oh no, I don't I don't know how to draw this offhand anymore. Let's try and make like a lizard man. Lizard man. Oh, 
What do lizards look like? This is bad. What a tutorial. I'm going to just do the same thing, though. I'm going to... They have more of a rounded nose going on. And their, their mouths go back, like, real far. Maybe I should just draw it like it's a dragon. This eye is too far. I think lizards, like, their snout starts, like, pretty far up. So I'm just going to start it from here and not from, like, the cheek. Do you see that? Okay, there we go. And then the jaw on like a lizard is rounded and the the mouth goes like really far back i like to put like these kind of dragony let's give them a pointed lip because we can and it's free this is maple story now god um maybe you up a little bit and then the lower lips always like hard for me to get right you do give them weird sideways pupils i don't know it makes me uncomfortable <laughs> um, i'm just gonna do the neck starting here i think because like where that's the hardest part for me. Where are you going to put the neck? Where are you going to put the neck? Come on, weird little lizard. A little lizard ear. Like birds have. That's just a hole. Ta-da! A lizard. What other kind of animal exists? <laughs> uh, hmm. A cow? We're getting like more and more towards animals that I don't know how to draw from memory. I'm just hoping that my that my strategy for drawing furries works in my favor. At least from a three quarters angle view, because let's be honest, I don't know how to draw anyone from a different view. Cows have kind of like a big boxy and then like a like horse like jaw area thing. Jaw area thing. How far does their mouth go? Probably not that far. It's a cow. I'm gonna assume shallow mouth. Oh god. Cows with mouths that go far back? Kind of terrifying. I'm actually a little bit scared that I even thought about that. Um, what do cow ears look like? Kind of like this? <laughs> Looks bad, dude. It's supposed to be a tutorial and it's like, ooh, that's bad. Um... Give them horns. Woo. Me, me, do it for you, Kermy. This is a, this is a silly tutorial at this point. Can I give them cheek fluffs? Yeah, fluffy. I maybe take away the lines around the ear there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to do it fast, I think, is the thing. I made him look sad. Okay, okay. Oh, ooh, it's working, though. It's working, though. I can just draw any furry I want now, boy. My power is unlimited. <laughs> Shouldn't have drank coffee and then tried to do this. Um... Oh, the problem's always the neck, though. How thick you make the neck. How thick you make the neck. Okay. 
do little cheek blushes because I like little cheek blushes. Wow, a cow. Um, yeah, it's pretty much like the same. It's just like you change the way the nose is. Just look at a picture of an animal. If you want to draw an animal, just look at a picture of the animal. But this is like the the basics is draw a circle, draw lines in the circle. Let's try and do one from face on, from, from just, and I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat 100% and use a symmetry ruler because I can't, I can't draw symmetrically. Like eyes, that's hard. I'm just going to not do that and I'm going to pretend that I can by using a symmetry ruler. And we can pretend that I did this all very symmetrically by myself. The problem is a snoot from the front and the snout. I try. I tend to just like not draw very much of it. I draw the cheek fluffies, and then I draw the the nose. I don't know what kind of animal this is, but it is a cutie. And then the the little chin. But um, I don't think you really have to draw the the snout. I guess it's a cat. I always I kind of just default to cat, don't I? Cats have smaller, cuter little noses though, and smaller, cuter little mouths. That's too small and too cute. Oh, I'm trying to go fast and I just keep fucking it up. Just yeah. <laughs> Kitty cat. It's kind of just like a style voice at this point about like how big you want the eyes to be and stuff like that. But my favorite is to just draw animals that look like animals and not like furries and give them like cute outfits. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, that's, that's from the front, I guess. How do you draw a dog? It's the same thing. You just, oh, we'll do another one. We'll do another one that's, like, has a longer snout. Um, I, I might need this cow to move. Where's the cow? Cow, get out of the way. Yeet. Yeah. Uh, same, same thing. Oh god, the symmetry tool. Same thing, eyes, eyebrows, and then you have a longer snout. Sometimes I point a dog's face down. If the snout is long enough, then it's kind of facing down. So then their face gets like longer. And draw little lines on the nose to show volume, I don't know. And then the, the jaw actually kind of curves. Curves in if, if they're facing down a little bit. Then you got your cheek droofies. And then big doggy ears. Make this one more of like a wolf. Haha, <laughs> it looks bad. Okay. Dog mouth can even like come back a little bit more. Cat mouth is like very shallow, so you end up from the front being like short and cute. And dog mouth from from the front is like can can curve back. That's maybe too far. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm done. Okay. Okay. Just pretend that that looks good and that this is a good tutorial, okay? Thank you.
thank you for coming to my TED talk. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, this is, oh wait, I need the symmetry ruler back. Did I fuck the symmetry up? I done did it. I wanted to put a neck in. I gave the last one a hoodie. So I'm giving this one a hoodie too. I just think these lines are making it weird. It's got like unnecessary lines and usually the unnecessary lines like don't really make a difference. Especially if it's a sketch, like put as many weird lines in as you want and then just come back and like figure out which ones of those you want to keep later. But, um, ooh, yeah, dog. Dog. The dog's not, dog's not looking good to me, but, um, <laughs> what if we just, I'm going to move all of this up. What if I moved it down too much? I think that's it. I think that's it. I moved it down too much. And I turned on the symmetry. Well, I gotta stop this or else the rest of the video is gonna be me spending 30 minutes trying to figure out what's weird about this face. <laughs> it's hard though, because like you don't want to show these lines, but sometimes it helps. Sometimes it helps, and it helps to have like shading and stuff that shows the muzzle lines from the front. And then you kind of can understand why the chin comes out at that spot. Um Yep, that's me on being a furry. Okay, bye.